The all clear has been given to the three synagogues, but many questions remain, including who sent the letters and why. WJZ is live. George Solis has the details of the two people who say they began to feel sick after opening one of the letters. George? Mary, as of this hour, the two adults have not been identified, but we're told they are feeling much better. It's still unclear how they may have gotten sick. As authorities have said, they have found no dangerous substances on either the envelope or the letter. WJZ also getting a look at one of those letters tonight. Three hazmat scares at three different synagogues in Baltimore County, sparking fear Monday. Authorities responding to similarly suspicious letters that were mailed to each. The first call occurring just before one at Bethel Congregation. Because the synagogue is also connected to a school, people like Lynn Richmond were left desperate for answers. I'm trying to get my granddaughter from her um, daycare. I have an email that there was a problem at the school. No children or staff members were hurt, but authorities say two adults did report feeling nauseous after opening the letter. The symptoms were, were fairly uh, benign. Uh, they did not suffer acute symptoms, but they were not feeling well. Authorities say so far, testing of the letter has revealed no dangerous substances. WJZ obtaining a copy of the letter, which appears to have come from a distribution center in North Texas. It's postmarked as having been sent out back on December 11th. The contents of the letter, religious rhetoric, but nothing specific to the Jewish faith. By late afternoon, fire officials announcing the two sick adults would not be going to the hospital. They're feeling much better. Just please put a suspicious package. Fire officials say the second suspicious letter was reported just before three. This one at Beth Isaac at Death Israel, about three miles away. Officials say testing there revealed no dangerous substances. The third letter reported nearly two hours later at Har Sinai Congregation. Authorities say their investigation found the synagogue received the letter a week earlier. Officials reporting it Monday after hearing of the first two letters. It too did not test positive for any dangerous substance. And again, to recap, three different Baltimore County synagogues receiving three suspicious letters. And tonight, we're also learning from Baltimore City that some suspicious letters, very similar to these, may have been sent to city synagogues. The investigation into all of this, of course, just now beginning. We're live in Baltimore County tonight. George Solis reporting for WJZ.